After multiple delays, tomorrow Austin police will release the body camera footage capturing the moment officers shot and killed a man in East Austin. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Britt Marino. I'm Robert Hadlock. Jordan Walton was killed in February. APD's own policy requires any police video of critical incidents be released within 60 days. But the department has not been keeping its own self-imposed standards. Only one such, such incident has been released on time since the policy went into effect last year. KXAN police reporter Jacqueline Powell explains how those who oversee officers are saying delays in this latest case are leading them to actually rework how they release video for even more transparency. Officers fatally shot Jordan Walton on February 10th after he crashed a car into one home on Roggy Lane, then held a woman and child hostage at another house down the street. An informational video with police footage of that shooting should have been released in April, but APD pushed the deadline to May after the winter storm, then pushed it back again to June 4th. It'll be nearly two weeks after that deadline when it's released Thursday. I think we underestimated how long it would take, particularly when you have so many departments working on it. Director of the Office of Police Oversight, Farah Muscadin, helps lead all of this. To get these critical incident community briefing videos out, you need to involve APD, the district attorney and the city's tech and communications offices. What has been challenging is um, the putting together the video in a way that explains it and provides context in um, a very fair and impartial perspective. And that just fundamentally takes a lot of time. This way of releasing the footage is modeled after policy in Los Angeles. What I'm hoping is that we move to what Houston just did. Houston recently changed its policy, now requiring police to release the full raw clips of body camera footage from any officer who uses a weapon in a critical incident with within a maximum of 30 days. Our goal is to release the videos as quickly as we can. So far, HPD has had one officer involved shooting since that change, and all of these clips were released within that timeline, along with an informational video that didn't require as much production and could be put out more quickly. Muscadine didn't definitively say if or when Austin will move to a model more like Houston's, but she told me that is what the city's leaning toward. I looked into the policies at other major cities in Texas and found that Dallas has a really quick turnaround. Three days, just 72 hours before it releases footage. And the San Antonio Police Department just changed its policy at the end of last year. 60 days is now its standard for releasing footage from critical incidents. Back to you. The Office of Police Oversight in Austin just underwent a change thanks to Austin voters. In the May election, voters passed Proposition C. It allows City Council to now be able to appoint and remove an OPO director. The OPO replaced the Office of Police Monitor in 2018. That happened after the city learned not enough people understood how the process worked. The hope was to get the community to work with officers more. The Police Monitor originally came about 20 years ago along with the Citizens Review Panel. At the time, it was considered a milestone for transparency and oversight. The OPO has now replaced the panel with a new Community Police Review Commission providing civilian oversight. It is seen as an advisory group to spur change in the Austin Police Department.